Hello, this is Mike Queen from WinCNC, and today I want to show you how to calculate the resolution for your rotary axis. Uh, you can see that right here I've got a tri black triangle with a white marker pointing to it. I've tried to line that up as perfectly as I could for the video. It's a little difficult to see, but I have on the axis spec line for the A axis, I have set my resolution to 25 pulses per degree. This is a type 4 axis, which means a rotary axis. If it were a type 1, type 2, or type 3, those work in inches per minute instead of degrees per minute. The rotary works in degrees per minute my X, Y, and Z work in inches per minute. A type 1 is a horizontal X or a Y. Well, an X, a type 2 is a Y, and a type 3 is a vertical up and down axis. But I know that this resolution is incorrect. I know that it's somewhere around 17.7, .7, but I reset it to 25 for this tutorial. And now I've got WinCNC running here, and what I'm going to do is move this thing until it turns one full revolution, and this mark comes back up to here, and I'm going to try to line it up as perfectly as I can back on it. Then I'm going to calculate a resolution. Then I'm going to go 100 turns and recalculate it and get it much more accurate. So the first thing that I need to do is set this on slow speed and I will rotate it at one full turn which is actually 360 degrees but it will not come out to that I do not believe. When that mark comes back around and lines back up on that pointer And here we come, and I've got that pretty close. And if you look here, it says 256.52 degrees. So we know that's not right. It's 360. So the way I calculate that is I take that 256.52, and I come over to my calculator. Two, oops. 256.52. That's how much I commanded it to move. And I divide that by what it actually did move, which I know that's 360 degrees. And I get this number, 0.7125, and it continues on. So now I multiply that number by my 25 that I have here. So I take commanded divided by actual and multiply by the current resolution on the axis spec line for the rotary axis. I click equals and I have 17.813. I know that's close, but it's not exactly correct. But that will get us in the ballpark, and that's where we need to be for the first step of this. So I will copy that and paste it here. And I'm only going to go to four, four decimal places. And I'll save that. I'll come back to WinCNC and I'll rotate A back to zero. And I can just type that in the line up here. I'll tell it to go to A zero. Hit enter. And it moves back. And you can see that the mark line back up with where it was. Now, in order to pick up the changes that I made, and I'll make sure that I save that. In order to pick up those changes that I made to the WinCNC.ini file, I've got to shut it down, 
and restart it. It does not pick up any changes made to the INI file until you restart WinCNC. So I double click WinCNC and now it has the new changes. So I'm going to try to command it to go 3600 degrees, which is 100 full turns. And we'll see how close we are. I know I'm going to be off some. Oh, that was 10. Sorry. 36,000 degrees. I'm sure that we go too far. It takes about a minute for it to get up there because we're turning 35,000 degrees per minute and we're turning 36,000 36, degrees so it's going to take a little more than a minute to get up there. So we're there and our mark, I don't know if you can see it or not, but our mark's all the way up there. So in order to get back to that, I'm going to go to slow and I'm going to rotate it back until it lines up with the pointer. And that's pretty close. I'm going to leave it there. So I actually didn't turn 3,600 degrees here, or 36,000, I turned 35,927.168. I'm going to have to come back to this to get this number because I'll not remember it. 35,927. So I'll come back to my calculator, I'll clear it, and I know that I turned 35, 9, 27.168. 27.168. And I divide that by what it actually turned. 36,000 and I get a this number and now I have to multiply that by the current resolution which is this number I'll just copy it and paste it in the calculator make sure I got times there edit paste and I multiply it by that number and I get this number so I got 17.7778 so I will copy that number and I'll bring it down here and I'll just overwrite this 17.81 that I have here paste it in there and remember I'm only going to four digits so I'll come back to there and maybe I'll come back and do a nine since that was the next number was six. So I'll save this. I come back to WinCNC. I command A back to zero so that we're starting from the same number when I restart WinCNC. And if you watch here, you'll see that our arrow is going to come back and line up with our pointer. This is going to go to zero. And anytime that I type something in, it's going to come up here in this window. And now I need to restart WinCNC in order for it to pick up the changes that I made here. Anytime you make a change to this file, it does not take effect until you shut WinCNC down and restart it. So I restart it. Now the change is taking effect and now I'll come in back to 36,000 degrees A36000 and you can see that up here and I hit enter and 36,000 degrees is 100 turns. 360 degrees per turn times 100 is 36,000 degrees. So when it gets there, we're hoping to see that our pointer is directly at the black 
triangle at the point around the black triangle. And you can see that it is. And that's how simple it is to set the resolution on a rotary axis. I hope this video was informative and watch for more. Thank you very much.